here. All right. Let's see. Um, where are we on the map? Oh, so we're here now. Okay, so at least this area is unlocked. It's a good thing. Um, before I do that, I'll look, I'll look in the vicinity. If the game actually lets me. Going to unlock that waypoint because Time to go. why the heck not? Don't worry, guys. I'll work on uh, that uh, on that region after the quarter fountain. So I'll get to do every everything that is here in due time. But for now, I guess that we are going to stick to the script. Which means um, talking to Lenoir. But let's talk to Estienne first. Natural wind really feels better, doesn't it? We might have fans down there, but most of the air feels kind of stale. The fans in the Pancration Ring are just like Noai. The fans are indeed indeed needed there but when their blades spin they bring the same misery, misery to everyone no matter who they are i know i think you know what i'm talking about about the noise caterpillar and well yeah no more. mr lamo this is do you see any walls I don't, I don't see a wall anywhere around here. Walls? There's no walls? There are no walls here. Then, are the walls somewhere really far away? Jada once told me that if they're too far away to see with your eyes, they'll look like the horizon. Still no, Miss Paimon, where are we? Uh, we're... <laughs> sure, we are by the water, but we are in Fontaine. Fontaine? It's a blue and green place. The fortress of Marapita is all yellow and grey. Hmm, the thing up in the sky must be the moon, right? If it were the sun, it would probably hurt my eyes like the evil sorcerer's magic. All around me are things I've never seen before. And things I've only seen in books. Mr. Lemur, Miss Paimon, let's go on another adventure. Yeah, Chatter was right. Adventuring outside is way more fun than Meripede. That's right, the world outside is vast. I really envy the two of you. Lemur, let's discuss adventuring later. We really should find your family first. Freeze, all of you. Where do you think you're going? Also, what's with that little girl? The, the evil sorcerer found us. What business is it of yours? Why aren't you on leave? Patrolling with the job matching your off hours won't get you promoted, you know. And came back as soon as I received the report. I've gotten yourself mixed up with them. You're making a grave mistake, Estienne. Actually, I think you'll find that I'm rectifying my mistake and saving everyone a lot of... I mean, rectifying a mistake and saving everyone a lot of paperwork. Miss Monglan might even invite me to the nurse face. No. No. They're criminals. Even if the papers with their serial numbers on them are missing, they're still criminals. A little girl like this is criminal? Are you out of your mind? I'm perfectly sane. Anyone can be a criminal. Little girls are no exception. This guy is scary. 
Whatever all the plans you may have had, I must now escort you back to the fortress of Meripede. We only just got out and now you want to make us go back? I don't think so. You don't have a choice in the matter. You must comply with the rules and accept your punishment. And there's no way out of this? I can see quite a few ways actually. If a few Jordamets get trapped in the process, well, that's also what happens when people break the rules. I mean, it will seem you have no intention of repenting. And you'll leave me no choice. Jodomites show no mercy to recalcitrant criminals. Alright. Seems. So, no, Miss, Miss Paimon, be careful. You're going to teach you. Uh huh. You, you thought. What with nature? Time to. This may free the river. Is that... Uh... Ah! Uh, <laughs> an animal hill show road? What? When the clock strikes midnight, this, yeah. the time for magic has ended. Monster is just like he said, your monster wearing a human form. Yeah. I, I, did, I didn't expect this. Well, I'll help you though. There's just no end. Of taking me in too. Since you've thrown your lot in with them, you deserve the same punishment. <clears throat> well, Chatter, let's tell them all. It's Paimon. <laughs> Jodomex simply gets trapped. But you. Even if you are monsters, you can still feel pain, right? Is is this so the true really caterpillar? I'm not trying to wrap her head around this. Miss Paimon, how do you not recognize him? That's Chatter. I'm I'm a monster in human skin. A monster? I never imagined such a monster even existed in the fortress. A hill shoe that can talk? Who would have thought? <laughs> How did you manage to pull the wool over everyone's eyes? What sorcery could allow a man with a mindless creature? to warm and sway its way into our midst like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Why haven't you run away yet? Are you pretending to be human? 
Of course, I will catch you, even if you do run. A dangerous monster like you. I'm guilty, but she hasn't done anything wrong. She shouldn't be here. You won't find her name on any sentencing documents. She's innocent. She only ended up stuck in the fortress due to a few mishaps. I'll return to the fortress with you, but have his team take her back home. Chatter! The monster actually wants me to deal with me? I do indeed. Let her go home. As far as the fortress of Maripede is concerned, she never existed in the first place. Her absence will not be felt. But catching a monster like me should be a big deal, no? Fontaine hasn't seen a monster like me for several centuries now. If you pass up this opportunity, I'll put my human skin back on and slip away into the crowd. You'll never get a chance like this again. Hmm. You're right. I've never, I've never seen her in the fortress before. She's completely irrelevant. But you, you're too dangerous. I can't risk letting an evil monster like you get away. You have a deal. We'll re you'll return to the fortress of Meripede. The girl to leave. It would achieve your goal, might as well take it. Don't take the deal, it could be a trick. Hmm, what to choose? I know it could be a trick though. The guilty return to where they should be, and Lenoir returns to her family's side. Everything on the right track as it should be. He is someone who follows the rules. This is also in accordance with the rules. Enough, monster. I've caught you now. You're all coming back to the fortress of Meripede with me. The girl included. What? But didn't you just... Who would actually make a deal with a monster? Could anyone be sure that the words coming out of his mouth are on some beguiling incantation to stunt human wisdom? I won't be fooled again. Ooh, the piano. So I decided to play by my own rules. Your documents are missing, and you'll stay in the fortress of Meripede for the rest of your lives. You have no right to bypass a trial. If you want to emphasize that in your written appeal, you might jest. But until then, you don't have a choice. And you are escorted back to the fortress of Meripede. Just why not? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now I filled appeal forms out for you already. You should stay out of trouble until the final decision has been made. More specifically, do not rile him up. I thought I was getting a co-worker who knew what he's doing, so I could be less stressed. But as it turns out, I've only gotten busier since he arrived. I really want to take your vacation in that room. I want to go to Nathan too. The more this is not a time for chit chat. Paman's wondering how Lenoir and the others are doing. They're being kept under strict watch now. If you don't want the same treatment, then follow the rules. In that case, should we go see how they're doing? If I doesn't understand any of this, we'll have to ask him. Well, it seems like, um... Yeah, it seems like, uh... 
we are in a bit of a pickle. When a, with one of the fortress Mer of Merope guards, it seems. Um, yeah. No, it's alright. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> it's, it's you. Indeed, it's me. Uh, now I would probably call it Italian for my sins. For my sins. Yeah, okay. Now I've got seniority, so it doesn't get to order me around. Then, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, feeling you on the least bit surprised. Did you already know Caterpillars? Um, do you know his true identity? I only knew that he'd been here a long time. Longer than any of us. As for the rest, is any of it really important? He looks like a human, and he talks like one too. What can I say? I like chatting with him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was definitely tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe appearances matter more to me than what's inside. Yeah, that's understandable. Uh, wait, wait. Maybe appearances matter more to me than what's inside? I mean, I beg to differ. Sometimes uh, the true value of a person lies inside of a person. Not, not what you see on the surface level. Yeah, I've learned that through all of my experiences. But, uh, thanks, thanks for <laughs> thanks a lot for for uh, the surprise. Uh, I'll be sure to take a look, uh, but I'm sure it's wonderful as always. So yeah, shout out to you, Megan. Shout out to you. In any case, if you're looking for caterpillar, he's inside. What about Lenoir? Uh, is she there with him? She was taken to go fill in some registration form. But don't worry, she'll be back soon. Okay, then let's ask Caterpillar. Just what's going on with him? Uh, I mean, he's an animal, hill rogue. On the surface level. Yeah, see? Yeah. It, it's him. As in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Yeah, definitely him. Um. So um. Care to um unveil your mask? Let me see your face. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look, look at Nahida, for example. She's not. She's not even to to his waist. That thing, I don't know what's the wait. Well, anyways, <clears throat> caterpillar. I'm I'm sorry for dragging for dragging you and two into this. My plan was to get Lenoir home to her family, and return on my own. But it looks like that plan was a complete failure. Well, um, <clears throat> there's a lot that I want to ask you. I imagine so. Um, so, which is why, uh, on the side of YouTube, guys, uh, sure, you can like, uh, consider also subscribing, sure, but also share with your friends, with your family, with your dog, with your nephew, with your aunt, with your grandma, and every other relatives, because um, this this channel is to spread, spread out. <laughs> and it will go even further beyond. So I'm counting on you guys. I'm counting on you. I imagine so. Um, you... <laughs> you... 
Um, oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do the best for um, this thing I can do, but with also in the meantime being me, uh, giving 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 out my my personality, my enthusiasm, uh, my happiness to, to the world, and I hope, I really hope, that if I somehow made your day a little more, well, warm, a little more uh, enjoyable, then it's all plus for me in the end. And yeah, I aspire to to give you the content that uh, you can be happy about. But I would like to <clears throat> to stay myself, to just keep being me. I don't want to change for the sake of videos, for the sake of, for the sake of content. I uh, what you see. What you see um, from me is not overplayed. It's not exaggerated. What you see from me is my true personality that I'm sharing with everyone around. So, yeah. I'm trying to do my best. Um, if it's not your cup of tea, then, well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I cannot do anything about it, really. But if it is, then please make yourself known and um, well leave a comment down below I suppose <laughs> but yeah back to the video you you really are caterpillar right I am then I'm um, your your uh, hilly show I am okay <clears throat> But aren't Illitrals all, um, <laughs> kind of dumb? Wow. Yeah, you know, Paimon, that's really harsh coming from you. And you look just like a regular kid before. Uh, Paimon doesn't know what's real anymore. You said before that you looked like this because you got sick. After all, everyone has things they'd rather not tell anyone. And you're also so good to Lenoir and she trusts you too. But you're not a human at all. If you're a hilly shrill, then you can't trust me. Well, I want the answers to the questions no I asked before. <clears throat> I'll answer all your all your questions truthfully. When did you come to the fortress of Meripede? Over four hundred years ago? So Four hundred years ago, which means it's a hundred years later than what happened with all the um, yeah all the calamity that happened in Conria. <clears throat> but yeah, that's crazy. Four hundred years ago, you went to the fortress of Merpid. So basically, since. In, uh, since its uh, inception, right? F 400 years ago? When you said you'd been here for a long time, Paimon thought you met something like 3 to 5 years. But 400 years is like um, several generations, isn't it? Oh, right. You're a hilly churl. What was your crime? If you're interested in history, I was a member of the Nazi Central's Odo. Ooh. Okay, so what happened to you if you were in the Nazi Central's Odo? Aww. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Megan. Truly, uh, hey, 
I'll keep being me as long as I live. Don't you worry. I'll never change. Because if you lose yourself, you'll never have the strength and the courage to see yourself in the mirror every day. And that's a fact. So, yeah. To keep <laughs> to keep being able to look at yourself in the mirror, well, be the best person that you be the best person that you want to become and that you need to be. And that means staying true to your hearts, to, to your hearts, to your heart and to your guts and and to never falter. Sure we are humans. Sure we make mistakes. We have flaws after all, but we are like this, so to make sure that we do all the things right and we discern what is right from wrong, and that's why we move, that's how we move on and we keep moving forward. Just like a certain Monty Ohm said before. <coughs> Alright, Peter Monty Omer. Monty. Hmm. But anyways, let's uh, let's continue. If you're interested in history, I was a member of the Nazi Synchro's Odo. I was found found guilty of being an accessory to the master's scheme. So your master was the master of the Nazi Synchro's Odo. found guilty of being an accessory so you were just like played played like your fiddle is that is that what you're trying to say <clears throat> the Nazi Synchro's Odo we've heard that before yeah I'm, I'm glad to, to, to know that Paimon you remembered the Nazi Synchro's Odo you know it hasn't been too long we've seen some more we've seen Anne we know that Alain Riotta is the founder of the Fontaine Research Institute, but apparently he had some dealings with Nazi Central Soto. You know, J Chip, the Iniquitous Baptist that we fought before. You remember that? <laughs> I'm surprised I'm surprised anyone still remembers it. The prophecy of the apocalypse. My master believed that he could stop this future destruction from coming to pass. We did much to prepare for this. It was a powerful magic, and also an evil plan. But perhaps none of this is important now. The plan failed, and the Nordicent Risoldo has essentially ceased to exist. Whether Fontaine is destroyed or not, it no longer has anything to do with me. Wait, wait. Whether the fountain is destroyed or not, it no longer has anything to do with me. Uh, uh, Caterpillar, may I? Uh, well, maybe you don't know, but I can maybe tell you that um, we stopped the prophecy from happening. That um, all the people of Fontaine were not turned into Oceanids. That they kept being human. Maybe you haven't heard about this. Well, breaking news. <laughs> uh, just, um, who was this master you spoke of? No. I, I should have known. I should have known that the Nazi Cruz Odo, the name of the master is Nazi Cruz. Of course. Nazi Cruz, a powerful mage. He taught me human speech and granted me memory and intelligence. Was there really someone who could do something like that? Hmm. But your appearance aside, you really do seem like an ordinary human. Though many details of the past have faded into memory, I remember this very well. This was a very, very long time ago. I couldn't change how I appeared to others at will then. Yeah, so okay, so it's like like 
300 years ago? Many humans, some in finery, others in rags, some with curiosity, others with disdain, would all ask, would, would all ask <laughs> similar questions. Can Helichos really talk? Are Helichos really capable of intelligence? I mean, yeah, I mean, yes, they do. And they, they can talk. Uh, and... <laughs> uh, yeah. Ella Musk in uh, Mondstadt was able uh, to talk with them. Albeit, the Helichos language wasn't very uh, developed, but... Yeah, she was able to communicate with them. And you also have to know, I mean, surely you guys have uh, uh, some experience with the Archon Quest uh, chapter... Was it, is this chapter interlude? Um, with Dainsleaf? Dainsleaf? With um, the fact that Hilly Churls were, be were before uh, the Cataclysm 500 years ago, people of Conria. So yeah, they are indeed able of intelligence, so to speak. My master raised the holy blade of Nazisankra's high. It was a ceremonial sword, so the blade wasn't sharp, but still, it glistened in the sunlight. <clears throat> Behold, he said. Even a hideous monster such as this can attain wisdom and redemption from my power as the incarnation of Nazisankros. Okay. I was one of his creations, and as a testament to Nazisankros' power, I once wielded a blade for the Odo. Is it this one? But the sacred sword evidently couldn't save my master from a fate of failure and ruin. And the mystical, magical weapon no longer exists. Okay, so this is just a dagger. Okay. And there will be no more monsters in human skin like me. So you're the last one, Caterpillar. You're the last one. Um, that is a monster with human skin. Are you sure about that, though? I wouldn't be surprised that in the future, if we go to Natlin or... Yeah, or to um, Snezhnaya, or, or to the ruins of Conria, or even to Celestia, it would be surprising to not see any more monsters in human skin like him. But, I, I, I'm waiting. I want to be surprised, so we'll find out later, I suppose. Why do you want to help Noir? Because of uh, compassion, quotes. Humanity might be unattainable for me, but at the very least, I can imitate it. Just like how I learn to change how I appear to others. Uh, you did sound... I mean, you were... You said, you say, Caterpillar, listen to me right now. Although you, I don't know, I, I know that you can't listen to me, but still. Uh, humanity might be unattainable for me, but you had, you had uh, human-like behavior and emotions just before. The way you protected Lenoir, Sure, it was out of compassion, but compassion is an emotion that human people have. So, yeah. <laughs> Paimon doesn't get it. Limul, Paimon, you both innately possess kindness and benevolence. Because of this, you don't need to think twice about helping others. You simply do. I mean, I mean, he's not wrong. Let's just say. If you look at their outcomes alone, 
plenty of actions are indistinguishable from each other. We all agree that Lenoir shouldn't stay in the fortress of Meripede, and that she should return to her family, so we chose to help her. Yeah, and yeah, I remember that uh, in the stream prior, uh, when I started this unfinished comedy, I had some doubts, I mean, even the traveler had some doubts and reservation and reservations regarding Caterpillar. So yeah, I can see why. Your actions come from an innate benevolence that doesn't require excessive concentration or calculation. For me, however, it is because by it is because Oh for me, however, it is because by doing so, I'll be more like a human. Yeah, but that doesn't change anything. Sometimes there are some type of people, okay, that um, are pretty. How should I say this? Uh, sh how should I word this rather? Um, there are some people that are that are afraid to sp not afraid, but they are careful about the words they use in a conversation, because sometimes. Um, they are afraid that the person that is right in front of them or the people that are right in front of them could misinterpret uh, the idea that the word that they utter is providing. So yeah, uh, sometimes people will um, act with excessive consideration and calculation because um, they are scared of doing the wrong thing or yeah but that is also a trait of human nature it doesn't matter if you're a monster or if you're a human um, any living creature any living breathing creature uh, has fears has um, well, expectations of life. Um, they have, uh, well, let's say, a different vision, a different perspective from one another, which is how humans are portrayed. But yeah, that's just me rambling. Don't mind me. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? I'll never truly become human, yet I can't stop mimicking human behavior. Because the more... <laughs> and here I start rumbling again. Because the more you are with a certain group of people, you know, the more you are with a certain group of people, uh, and more so humans, you're going to, st to, to start and act like them. Because... Um, it's a part of, um, well, entering the group, yeah, uh, it's uh, a step in communication, and yeah, um, I can't stop mimicking human behavior, I mean, uh, you've lived in the fortress of Meripede for 400 years, Caterpillar. So, of course, you're going to start um, learning some human traits. And maybe... <laughs> uh, wait, 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 maybe. This is my hypothesis here, okay, guys? Um, I think there are three, choice, three choices um, from, from what I think is going to happen at the end of this world quest. Three choices. One. One. He. Um, he's going to. <clears throat> he's either going to stay here. One. He's going to stay in the fortress of Meripede forever. That's one. Two. 
he is going to sacrifice himself for us and Lenoir, or Mosul Lenoir, so that she can escape for the, from the fortress from Marapine and reunite with her family. This is my second hypothesis. As for the third, he'll become. He'll, he'll get so much human traits that, in and of itself, at a certain moment in point, I mean, moment in time, sorry, he'll become like um, a hillichel ambassador. But for the, this third hypothesis, I'm not too sure because uh, I don't know how um, well humans will take it. But hey, you don't know. Humans in Fontaine, before becoming humans, they were oceanids. Oceanids. So, in this reasoning, yeah, they were some sort of a uh, living creature that was not human. I don't know. I'm just tooting my own horn at this point. But I hope that one of these hypotheses are is coming is becoming true. Maybe, possibly. Um, funny, isn't it? I'll never truly become human. Yeah, I can't stop mimicking human behavior. It's like atonement. As far as human law is concerned, I have long since atoned for my sins. But a human? What would a true human do? They would never forgive themselves for the mistakes they made, the harm they caused, and the people or things they failed to save. Yeah, and what about you? So, my sins can never be absolved, and I will forever be my own prisoner. So, you're like, so, your, your mind is your own prison? Is that you're trying to say, Caterpillar? Since you, uh, since your sins cannot be absolved, you're going to stay prisoner, prisoner of your own consciousness until the end. Okay. What do you plan to do next? I'll bring Lenoir back to her family. Huh? Forget about getting out of the fortress, we can't even get past this door. I made a promise to her, so I have to fulfill it. She shouldn't stay here any longer, especially not by my side. The geode mine shaft. It's a dangerous route, but it's feasible. Oh yeah, I went there last time to get some coupons. <clears throat> The Geo Mine Shaft? That's right! Klein said that there's an opening there that leads outside. Yep. So, the guards asked him to install a lottery mechanism like the one at the Rift of Erosion? He also said something about having prepared a surprise. Yikes! There's no way that's anything, that's anything good. Are you sure you want to go from there? Paimon seems to remember that the research terminal there has to be operated by two people at the same time. And Lenoir is so small, Paimon doesn't think she'll be able to operate it. Why don't we help them, Lemuel? Well, I do evidently possess kindness, after all. But yeah, I do have a feeling that um, uh, Caterpillar is going to sacrifice himself for Lenoir. Okay. Uh, I have a few more questions about the order as well. Uh, I think there are other places better suited to discussing the history of the Nazi Sacrosodo. Somewhere that isn't the fortress of Meripede, for example. Yeah, but who is to tell? Who is to tell that you will, you will be there? Huh? Caterpillar. 
Who is, who is to say that you're going to be to get out of the Fortress of Meripede? Huh? Where am I going to get my answers if not you, the one who's who was in the Fortress of Meripede 400 years ago and was a, well, an accessory in the Master's team, in Nazi Central's team? So yeah, then we'll just have to wait until after Lenoir is united with her family. Before any of that, we need to think of a way out of here, and we need to make a back up with Lenoir. This turn will help us open the door, but there's a limit to how much it can help us. It should be at the entrance, right? Let's go ask him. Yeah, yeah, L let me, let me, um, let me, uh. I get this right. Can I read it? No. Easily understandable to treat. Okay. Um, yeah, Chatterbell, I need, I need to, I need to talk to you. Let's ask the gods first. Oh, come on. All right. Not on door. Um, should we try knocking? More poil. So, this is one of the other gods, right? Going somewhere? Huh? You know, it's Tien. He had something to do, so he asked me to cover for him. <sighs> when are people finally going to get it into their heads that I have my own work to do, too? Oh, th then can we leave? You can, but it's dangerous out there. How dangerous, you ask? About as dangerous as the mental state of the new god, I'd say. Oh, really? So, caution is the order here. He really is a lunatic. I had no idea that there were so many godmates on the move. Not only that, people actually approve his methods. Not that I know how serious th those people are. Yeah, but what does Sijuin say? What does uh, Risley say about all this? <laughs> I, I know what Risley is doing. He's just sipping his tea, relaxing, Le looking at his uh, tea collection on the side, and his tea set as well. This guy, I tell you. <clears throat> if you want to go, you better be prepared. I mean, it would best if you didn't come back again. But Lenoir's not, Lenoir's not back yet. I'm here. Mr. Mopwell just brought me back. Oh. And there's no time to lose, Lenoir. Oh, and there's no time to lose. Lenoir, I know we lost the last game to the evil sorcerer. But are you ready for a new challenge? A new game? You mean a new adventure? I'm ready. We don't let the evil sorcerer catch us again. Well, looks like they're all good. Are you ready then, Limon? Yep, let's go. Thanks for your help. <laughs> are we uh, are we going to get to be fugitives of the law? Nah, we have this um, VIP treatment. The special guest treatment. No way we will be fugitives of the law because of this. We're just helping a little girl be reunited with her family. She's innocent. She doesn't have any uh, red tape uh, with her, so. Yeah. Nothing should go wrong, right? At least I hope. 